This has been a 50-year dream of this man by the name of Jim Steinman. And it, it literally makes me cry to see how bad he's wanted this. And to sit next to someone who's 23 years old and is the lead in Jim Steinman's musical. It is extraordinary moment. He's so proud, and, and for you, I mean, you've been involved from fairly early on, you were in the off-Broadway sort of workshop, am I correct? Yes, I was. What is it like singing these songs and now sitting next to the man who made them famous? It's an honor. It takes an Olympian like stamina uh, to sing these songs. Uh, <laughs> you can say that twice. Oh yeah, I guess I did say that twice. I, I should say something different. Um, no, say it twice. Say it twice? Yeah. Oh, I'll say it's it three true. times You're even. You need it, yeah? You oh, need that yeah. stamina to sing these yeah. songs. You have to, well, it either takes Olympic stamina or the ability to feel, to walk on a stage in the zone and feel no pain. Okay, wow. That's strong words. And how are you managing so far? When you're on the stage, you feel no there's pain. no pain. Mm -hmm. When you walk off, you wonder possibly why your knees hurt so much or where that bruise came from. But otherwise, it's a good feeling. When I walk off stage, I run into a brick wall. In what sense? In the fact that I have been so into this that it's like running full force into a brick wall and I'm asthmatic and so a lot of people a lot of times I'll just hit the ground and they'll give me oxygen because I can't breathe. You've just thrown everything into it. Yeah. I have asthma too. I had no idea. Yeah. I have exercise induced asthma. That's so wild. I. Well, we asthma people, we push ourselves to the limit. Get, I don't know how else to put it. Get the oxygen ready. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with the sort of notes and ranges that you're going to have to hit. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm serious. Get the oxygen ready. You think so? I know so. I know I have the little inhaler, but... Forget I, that. Forget it? It's yeah, not useful. You, 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 you want the oxygen, I'll Only dude. plateau. I got to go for the when whole... When, you're, when, you get, when that plane hits, and you go on and you hit that zone and you're in that energy, you're gonna wanna come off stage and have that oxygen. Does, does, that, does getting in that zone not in some way scare you? I, I know there's a little bit of me that goes, I mean, I know it's obviously what you want to, but that, that you're sort of putting so much of yourself into it that you're so exhausted at the end, is that not, I don't know, a little bit No, scary? why would that scare you? I don't know, I think a lot of people have fear around well, them when they, before you, they perform. You're not, you're not Andrew. Yeah and you're not me, I have no fear of it. Yeah. I have, I, you know, when, when my, before my back started hurting, I had no fear whatsoever. And then my back started hurting and then I would loosen it up and, and we would do everything to get me on that stage. And when I hit the stage, I felt no pain. I couldn't do that today, believe me. There's too much pain now, because yeah. I had spinal fusion. So that would be impossible. But for Andrew, he's 23. But trust me, get the oxygen ready. Totally. I have to ask, yesterday you presented an award to Meatloaf. I did. How, how was that? Was that something you ever anticipated yourself doing? Uh, these are my wildest dreams come true. So uh, being able to give an award to someone who's been such a hero in my life uh, really is life-changing. I want to talk about what you said because I think it was very touching. You talked about um, heroes bringing love and that we need more love in the world and I'd, I'd just love to know sort of what made you want to say that? What made you think that love is the thing that we need? Well all you gotta do is look at the world and and uh, 
if I could touch one person last night with just getting them to say thank you to somebody for doing something for them, or you're welcome, or being gracious, being a human being to another human being. That's sharing love. If you can share love, and that's what the world really needs.